Academic Video Online Premium is an online video database that offers titles spanning a wide range of subject areas, including business, counseling, film, health, history, music, and more. We're going to do a quick walkthrough to introduce you to the platform and help navigate how to use the database in your research. In this case, our example subject area is going to be in Film and Media Studies. Start on the BMCC Library homepage where you'll go under Databases, and then Databases A to Z, Academic Video Online, should be right near the top. Use your CUNY First login to access. Once you're on this homepage, go under My Collections to find Academic Video Online Premium. There are a couple ways to explore Academic Video Online. By selecting this Browse option on the home page, you can try different methods of filtering your results. If you already have a good idea about what you're looking for, you can search the database more directly to see if it has anything relevant to your topic. If you're still trying to explore your options, you can look for anything that catches your interest. All six of these refiner categories – subject, publisher, person, content type, language, release date, and video duration are going to help narrow what you're looking at in different ways. For example, if I'm looking for material on the filmmaker Cheryl Denier, I can search for her in the person section. Based on these results, I may also be interested in later looking at results for LGBT studies or LGBT in the arts. For now, let's look in depth at one of these video results. This particular video is not solely focused on Cheryl Dunier, but instead is talking about multiple lesbian filmmakers. If I want to see if there's any discussion, for example, about her film The Watermelon Woman, I can search for it here in the transcript. Skimming sections of the transcript can also give you an idea if a longer video is going to be useful for you, as well as checking the abstract and other identifying information about the work, such as release date and its areas of interest. If you want to be able to come back to the same video later, you can copy and paste the link via the share options. Or if you're going to be citing the video for an assignment, just choose the Cite option, select your preferred citation style, and you're good to go, as long as you double check to make sure that the citation is correct. For more information on that, check out the Library's Citation Guide. Additionally, if you're interested in making an account for the site at no cost, you can unlock other features such as clip making. Just select the timestamps that you want to capture, and you can save it for yourself to return to later, or make public. If you have any further questions on how to utilize Academic Video Online, don't hesitate to reach out to a librarian. Information on how to contact us is available on the library homepage.